Chase Lee Hockey here, Blue Futon Movie 2 of 4 for the night. Still going strong, but this one is You Gotta Believe. I bet you probably never heard of this one, but this is a Luke Wilson Greg Kinnear story about Little League Baseball based on a true story in 2002. And that's the thing, you think it's just about Little League Baseball, but it's something more about one of the families of the players and one of the coaches and what happens to him. So I like this movie. It was a very interesting movie when it came to tone and what it wanted to say. Because the first half of the movie, it felt like it wanted to be a mini Sandlot. And the funny thing is there is one of the actors from Sandlot is in this movie. So that's why I was getting the vibe. I was like, oh, is this trying to be like a mini Sandlot for the new day? But it looks like it wasn't officially trying to be it. But some of the funniest... God, these people are trying to... Why do people stand in the road? Do they think they're the only ones... There's these two people that literally were standing in a road. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at is, yes, it felt like it wanted to be like a new Sandlot, but then it turned way more serious at the end of the film. And I think the serious parts really worked. Yes, there were some comedic elements I thought were pretty good. The kids' chemistry with the Little League team I thought worked through and throughout. Yes, some of the kids try to have a little bit more backstories than the other ones, which is fine, but I did wish it went a little bit more in depth, especially one with this, like, a Latino boy, quote unquote, the hood, because it's based in Fort Worth, Te Worth, Worth, Texas. But I won't lie, the ending I cried uh, because it's just it's heartbreaking. I wasn't expecting it go that route because it has to do something with health and family. So I was like, oh, that hit the heartstrings in the right ways. But overall, this is a well go USA release. You gotta believe, true story, baseball, Little League, Fort Worth, Texas, two thousand and two. It's heartfelt. Yes, the tonal shifts in the beginning to the end can be a little bit jarring of like what's the actual message you're trying to say, but I think it's a good enough movie for the whole family. She's like here at the Blue Food Tone. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things, Blue Food Topia. You Blue Food think about your great dog. Watch the tomorrow. We can find one on your favorite singer for one of you. And yeah, some of it, it hit right here.